Hey, this is Matt from the Who Goes There podcast, about to do uh, another attempt at Chapter 3 of White Knight. I've been having some difficulty with this uh, as of late, and I've uh, even scrapped a video or so because it keeps making me repeat the same part. Uh, I just remembered where I can find a save spot, so I won't have to do a bunch of that again, so we're actually going to go and do it straight through this time. I hope. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So you saw I already did this part. This on, room was uh, different. Chapter 3, part it 1. It was a dead space. A breach opened in the night. Getting to the point where I was having a, a world lot trying to mimic another. Right here. Memories, maybe. Because, see, it says I had Suppress to go out memories. as soon as possible. Sadness. So this light comes on over here, and letting myself fall into oh, a trap is starting to be a bad habit. You can die right there, I guess, if you don't get into that circle fast enough or something. So once I just started running as fast as I could, it wasn't a big deal anymore. But I actually died there several times. Follow me. There's her grave. There's nothing over there. You come over here. Where are you? Turn off this light. And then turn on this light. This is all stuff I did in the last video, so I'm just running through it real quick. I'm not even kidding. I've done this part like eight times by now and I've had to redo the video over and over and over again because I would get about 15 minutes in and then I would die and there's no save spot but I just went back and watched uh, the old video or the, the first playthrough of chapter one or I'm sorry of chapter three and I remembered that there is a save spot that I am going to go through. So at least I can save and not have to do all this shit again. Because this is what really has been irritating me is having to do this over and over and over again. And I know I could have just like left the video t as it was and posted it with my deaths and all, but some videos are fun to watch when people die. Five Nights at Freddy's. That's fun to watch when people die because of their reactions and their frustration and stuff. And granted, I was getting really fucking frustrated, but nothing was gained. There was new ex no new experience when I did the playthrough. There was no, uh, you know, added benefit to the game. There was nothing of the sort. It was just me repeating the same action over and over and over again, just getting more and more pissed. And that's where I died last time. I mean, uh, in the last video, so I started just running away. Now that I have the hairbrush, I'm going to visit Selena. See, and then the ghost just posts up, like, right... Well, usually you can see her right at the end of the hall, but I'm not going to go there. I'm going to go here, because Selena is in here once I turn on this light. And then I give her the hairbrush. Was her story? Gonna do a little bit of a cutscene. Beauty. Uh, her light. And then right after the cutscene, there is the sadness a in her big eyes. comfy chair in this room. So we I'm were bound. Saved here, so I don't have she was to trying to guide me, again. to draw me to her, and then like a dream the part which has to be trimmed just to be. Anyway, so at least just having that Should help me stay alive little until section now. cut out of it is gonna this make things so to much more enjoyable presence. for me. So, we open this, and there's a secret door, but over here, God, I've been looking, I haven't been looking, I guess, I've just been wishing for this for the longest fucking time. 
If I would have know, remembered, not known, but if I would have remembered that chair was there, that would have saved me so much aggravation. Because that was just part of what was pissing me off, was that I had to do that little spotlight dance over and over again. And uh, I just, I wasn't feeling it. So I come in here, this is the secret room. That door is locked. I don't know if I've checked out this painting yet. Probably Margaret's room, Beast Swoop. Uh, I've read all these books, I think. And like all the other books in here, none of them really say anything. Um, see, there's a chest there, so there's got to be a light somewhere. And there is, in fact, a light in the other room. The problem is... Uh, as is always the problem in this game is that there's a fucking ghost oh I haven't read this one Dr. Rosenthal confirmed that I'm pregnant Sarah that poor wench who reads more lines in the hand than in books believes it will be a girl yet something is bothering me I experience fatigue and nausea of course but I feel worried because of this mass growing inside me like a star about to collapse. It will be a boy, I know it. His ego is weighing on my entrails. Uh, I had a number of nightmares in which father came back haunting me. In one of them, I was laying naked on a pile of black ashes, the ashes of my ancestors. I couldn't move while father, his mouth glued to my belly, was whispering words which burned my skin. And then he raised his head and told me he will be mad, even crazier than I was. And then he plunged his head into my stomach, and when he raised his head again, he's, he had the child in his maw, the maw of a wolf. His jaws then snapped with an awful sound. I woke up, the yell of the baby resonating in my own. The boy will be born under the steel star of the Venture Cross, our seal. Uh, something, heal him, whatever he brings into this world. So that was actually one of the more interesting reads, because... Uh, it was pretty graphic and visual, but everything else, so yeah, I've read that one, those paintings. So herein lies the problem. As I come in here, and there's clearly a lamp right there, and you can see the ghost already. Come this way, you can see there's a body in the bed, which is well and good. Uh, the problem, oh, what is this? I don't know. See, I need both hands free to do all this stuff. Oh, I can walk through the curtain. Oh, that's the chair that fell down. Uh, the problem is... So there's the lamp, but it's one of those ones that has the wire that goes all along. And the wire goes under the bed. However, there's a ghost right fucking there. So I have not yet figured out how to... Uh, how to get to that thing like as soon as that happens the ghost just winds up right back on the bed so it says that the wire goes under the bed and there's things that I can do with two hands see and if I put the match out it's just going to tell me like Let's put the match out. It's gonna say it's too dark. So, and I seriously doubt that without light, I can uh, I can do anything. See, there's there's nothing. There's no other source of light. So it's that one light. But how to get to it? I mean, now that I've saved, I, I won't mind dying nearly as much, but it'll still piss me off. Let me see if I can just run over here and click something. Now I just gotta run away from the ghost. Ugh. Yeah, fuck you, ghost. fucking hope it's gone. Although I kind of doubt it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is 
feel like that rocking chair. That's cool. Whoop. Let's not do that yet. Let's go over here. Because I feel like this opens the curtains. Which is going to allow me to uh, open that chest. Sometimes, man, the best approach is the ballsy approach. Like, I thought I was going to die for sure, so just running straight at that ghost uh, actually worked for me. So let's see what's in the box. There's a key, which is good, I think. But a key to where? That's, that's a question. Uh-oh. Ghost is like right freaking there. Is there anything else in here? This book's recovered in the water. Blah blah blah. So I only have two matches left and the ghost is over there. I don't know if I can open this door now. That is not the one the key is good for. See if I can. Oh no, the ghost is definitely right there. So let's see if I can uh, run past and turn on the lamp again. That would be really nice if I could. back no more all right man I really hope that ghost is gone oh and the grandfather clock is ticking that doesn't sound like a good sign either Why would it? Vesper's Diary, Excerpt 22. I ordered some rare, rare recordings of Jelly Roll Morton, the original Dixieland jazz band, Louis Armstrong and his Hot Five, Bessie Smith, Fats Waller, the Fetcher, Henderson Orchestra, Duke Ellington. Names that have been sticking in my head since I listened to these jazz records with my father. As I was sitting on his lap, I would love to tell him how much of an influence he has had on my life, not only because that music made me more human, but also because he has given me the chance to play it. I have fulfilled my desire to be surrounded with musical artifacts. My blank will be, my life will be devoted to jazz, to light. Okay, so let's hopefully get some light. Let's get some matches at least, please, because I really don't want to be out of matches. I always feared your fingers, the keys, like spiders. Okay, we can fucking read later. Let's just, uh, let's get some light, please. Oh, candle, yes. Victim's note. Miss Adams, Mr. Arbach, Arbach will receive you next Friday at 8 p.m. at his home, 36 Fairmont Street in Black Lake. As I told you when we first met, he's an important man. His moments of relaxation are as essential to him as his business meetings. And this is my responsibility that everything goes well. I don't need to remind you that those 
that in those difficult times, the appreciation of such a man could change a lot of things for you. We expect you to be irreproachably clean and fully devoted to his entertainment. Whatever he might ask, you will indulge. Of course, do not be late. Looks like Kenneth Lynch. So somebody's a whore. Some door there. What is this guy? African mask. Oh, can I light this fire, please? Or do I need logs? Okay, I need to find some wood. Piles of books. Why can't I just burn the books? Sculpture. African sculpture. Oh, there's probably a clear loon. Shelves are like a tribune to philosophers and scientists. Oh, that's a big comfy chair. So, uh, I am definitely going to save because I don't want to deal with that ghost again. So, uh, now we're getting somewhere, thankfully, and I can actually upload this video rather than, uh, deleting it among the others. Okay. Cool, let's, uh, let's walk around a bit more. Find some, ooh, what is that? Move around. The globe could open, but something was blocking it. Uh, okay. William Vesper, the prodigal son carrying the family burden. Bunch of nonsense. Okay. From William to Selena, first letter. Dear Selena, I want to thank you again for the music box. I displayed it prominently in the living room. I imprinted its sweet little melody inside my head so I can hear it in my dreams. I can then see you in my dreams. For someone who doesn't sleep much, your night visits are a blessing. You are the talisman that protects me from the nightmares. You said that the serenade for a moon girl I wrote for you saved you. I can't believe you were about to take your own life. If my art, the same art I thought pointless, has that effect on you, then I will keep writing for you to keep you alive to make your life better. I place the sheet music in the safety of the music box. That way our voices can still sing together every time the night is falling. Okay, so... I'm probably going to have to go find this music box. My fingers hurt. I intensified my training. Exhausted something. Chopin. Okay. The third concerto has become routine after Mother tortured me with that piece of music for years now. Now I play it with automatic ease. Every key I press like a knife, I stick in her belly. When the technique bores me, I just improvise. And every time jazz, become, jazz comes back to, at me... Uh, I play for an imaginary lover, a woman who came from the sky. My fingers are running over the keyboard like fireflies, moving from day to night. I know Luna is listening to me because she can hear everything. I notice that she reacts to certain variations in my playing. Her radiance changes depending on the rhythm of my fingers. It's like a stupid fucking camera. Called Alignment of the Planets has been read recently. It does me no good. Selena and the Frozen Suns, her fourth album, She Was a Star. Selena toured, blah blah. So, what's the point? Is the point of this just to get me to look at these different things? It doesn't look like there's anything I can actually make use of. And there's not. Smashing. I think. Yeah. Selena. I recorded a few records between January and September. September. I almost said September. 1936. Morning Shadows and Snowborn, the one I gave you in Harlem Moon Live at the Cotton Club. 
The press is enthusiastic. I compose easily. I meet lots of people, reporters, fashionable persons. It is a dream for me. But Jim's label remains weak. Competition is tough, and the mobsters hate him for refusing to bow down. Especially Melanie St. Clair, nicknamed Lady. Uh, the lady who is controlling the district. Jim was raised by a violent father, as testified by the scars on his back and arms. He hates power and force by violence and infuriates him so much that he doesn't realize who he's confronting anymore. The only person he sees in such cases is his father, the man he still faces in his dreams, but this is not a dream and is not fighting a single man, and that's when I tell him something will, that will change everything. I'm pregnant. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see if I can't play this piano now. I think I'm going to have to... God damn it. I'm going to have to relight this candle. It's weird. I uh, I looked at the piano before and she didn't appear. So is she walking into the room or out of the room? It looks like she's on the balcony. Yourself? I gotta say, this game is actually really beautiful in terms of just. There it goes. What was she trying to do when she jumped? To put an end to a dream she seemed sentenced to live again and again? To give me proof she needed me? Just like her, I wanted to escape. But I wanted to escape with her. And in one piece. I don't think you can escape with her, bud, because uh, she's dead. Okay, so maybe I already played it, and that's why she she came out. So let's uh, let's go out this way. Jumping? <laughs> That's cool. Say I was looking for rest. Ah, she's just gonna jump for eternity. Is there another log out here? I should hope so. Yep. And a book. Hush, I am 16 this morning and it is snowing. She was way older than 16. I'm trembling in the garden and it's snowing. On the golden hair I brush. Dad plays the piano. He calls me Calypso. Like the flower in the fjords. He says, singing is coveting. Singing for the spring, which I saw you, tw which saw you twig and now a sapling. Sing, hush. It is snowing in the garden. The flakes of my whispers fall on the old finger. Yeah, fall on the old fingers. Of my music playing father on his cheek a kiss, and I walk to the woods in bliss. Hush, sing. The whispers of my footsteps carves a score upon forgotten, or a score soon forgotten, uh, in a soil made of cotton. Oh, Norway, it's snowing. I'm 16 this morning. It is snowing. Hush, no need for song. Not yet. It's too strong. Nature's own jazz jams on my body. So let me dance. I fly and take a chance. Sing, sing, sing. I tend to put words where they don't belong when I'm reading. Basic creepy as shit. Sheet music. So I wonder what happens when I actually get the fire lit. Oh, you mean like the match in my hand? I 
I don't know if that's just so I don't keep using matches or... wasting a match. I really don't know what the, uh, what the purpose of Coming, bitch. Oh, I thought she was gonna follow me down the hall. I'm like, no fucking way, you're not following me. Okay, so do I have to go down to the living room? I guess let's try and go down to the living room, shall we? I think there should be a bunch of lights on in here, and I shouldn't have a whole lot of uh, shouldn't have a whole lot of ghosts to deal with. I hope, anyways. Oh, but you know what? I remember. Music box in the one room, but uh, I remember the music box, but I think it needed a small key. Look like there was a ghost in there, and I was gonna say there shouldn't be. There's probably one in here, though. See, it seems like whenever they give you.
so dark, I can't go upstairs. Now, I wonder if I can go down that hallway without uh, alerting that ghost. Knowing my luck, she's going to be right there anyway. Yep, I see her. So I wonder if I can go back through that secret entrance? Possibly, maybe? needed it to last for another few seconds. I'm going to light this, I'm going to save, and I'm going to try and go down that hallway. So, that globe, there's got to be a way into that globe. That's my thought. the room. Or was it? Oh, lame. I went all the way around for no reason. Alright, well. It's uh, hopefully right across the hallway. tell which day it is. I'm not only losing my mind, I'm losing my memory as well. My father left me two things. One of the biggest companies in Boston and this disease that corrupts my blood weakens me and keeps me away from my family. When I come out of those manic episodes, I'm feeling empty, exhausted, and convinced that it was only a short break before the next one. What really breaks my heart is that William sees me in this state, despite all, all my efforts to spare him the worst of it. Uh, his affection for me hasn't changed. I love him even more for that. As for Margaret, she finds me disgusting and makes no efforts to hide it from others. She's not a wife. She's not a mother. She's a wolf, only waiting to tear you to pieces from the moment you fall to your knees. I'll fight to the end just to show her bravery is not the result of strict education nor the legacy of a long, lost, glorious past. Bravery is facing hardships while remaining true to yourself, and I'm not lacking in that matter. I hope William figured it as well. Go 
close there. I don't know how I managed to avoid it, though. Sheer luck. Hear the fire crackling. Saturn, then the Earth, then the Moon, and then the Sun. Okay, so okay, so obvious which one Saturn. that one that's uh back there so maybe that's it okay. 
That is the earth. Saturn, Earth, Moon, and then the Sun is down here. Like maybe the globe is the Earth, but... That's the globe. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can figure this shit out. Because I only got one match left. Okay. So. That one's... the front. Now we'll see about getting Saturn in front of that. So if we can get Saturn in front of the globe. I don't know if it ends up in front of it or behind it. It looks like it's behind it. Maybe it's supposed to go the other way? Like maybe, uh, maybe the fire counts as the sun? get this soon, I am uh, going to stop because I'm almost out of matches and I saved when I had like nine of them, so uh, fuck. Okay. <sighs> so that one there is the glow. to go sideways, but I really don't know. So that's the one that opens. So let's see. 
pattern on the side of it. idea. Is that what it is? Or I have an idea. Maybe we have to get the globe into the light. We have to get Saturn over on the left. There's like a box of matches in the uh, in the globe. Oh, it's a small key in a box of matches. Mechanism preventing me from the content. Oh, this is the fucking moon. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Uh, okay, so if that's the moon. Saturn, Earth, Moon, Sun. So... I'm gonna move Saturn to the back. Oop, that's not the way to do it. See, I knew the fire was the sun. Like, it had to be. So we get the globe into the middle. Now that I've wasted so much of my matches. I'm assuming this is going to be the way, and I'm just going to confirm it, and then I think I may uh, let myself die, come back in here, redo it, and then uh, let myself redo it, and then save in that chair so I have some matches. I think that's the way. Of course it is. The whole time, I mean, it said it was a globe, so the whole fucking time I'm thinking that, you know, that's the Earth, because whoever heard of a globe of the moon? I mean, maybe it's a thing and I'm just naive, but. Ever since I was a little girl, music has been living inside my head. I've been singing for my father and mother, friends, orchestra, and audience, always asking for more. It was my way of showing how much I loved them. Then life took it all back, and my voice became just a tool so I could survive in the backwater black lake. Enough to buy myself some drinks and forget about all this. The music box I gave you is a voice trapped in a cage. It is my voice, and I give it to you. I want you to remember how you gave me my inner voice back. You open that box with a piece of music you wrote for me, the serenade to a moon girl. It's the most beautiful declaration of love ever made to me. I will sing for you so you can escape the shadow of that evil house where you blank want this world to know you. Where you don't want this world to know you? Or just want this world to know you? I kiss you dearly. Okay, there's a key. If there's not matches in here... There's not matches, so I am going to try and probably fail miserably. To okay. So, uh, since 
I saved and the matches are right there, I'm gonna do this part again. Now that I know, and it's a giant fucking pain in the ass. I mean, it's not a pain in the ass, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to figure out, because the whole time you're waiting to find out if it's a globe or not. Hopefully I don't get killed in this hallway. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that, that creeped me out a little bit. Okay. We're gonna do this again. Trifling bitch Selena. I don't know if that no, that's gotta be mom. I don't think that's Selena. Okay, so we'll come down here and really, really fucking hope that I can just dart into this room. Okay, there we go. Cool. Let's make this shit happen. Uh, no, what do I gotta do to make that open? Uh, oh yeah, I gotta turn the globe. Oh, see, weirdly located at the center of the solar system. I was so confused because that other thing, like I said, says it's a globe. So the whole time I'm sitting here like, okay, so that's the Earth, but this other one is the Earth. No, if I remember correctly, there's a uh, uh, save spot right next to that music box, so I think I might go down to the music box, save there, and then wrap up this video. Just so we can see what happens. I'm sure I gotta come back up here and play the piano again, but we'll see. Letter. Now we'll grab this key. Now uh, we'll save just in case I die. Because my. God damn it, I was gonna say my match is gonna burn out anyway. At least there's more matches in the kitchen, right? I usually. I know saving is an important part of games, but I feel like I'm saving a lot. But with this game, it's because I don't wanna do this shit again. So, I'm going to save, I'm going to run downstairs, I'm going to do that music box, and then I'll save again, and we'll call it a day. Unless I die on the way, and then fuck that, I'm just done. So, let's go this way. Oh, trifle, bitch. Okay, no, fuck that. Fuck that, we're going to do it again. Because fuck her. <laughs> right? And we're just like right here, so. She's right there. I know she's right there. I see her. Oof. Get my way. Alright, come out this way. And then run, bitch, run! I have this feeling what's going to happen is I'm going to get down into that room that has the, uh, oh, God damn it, like the dining room or something, and then uh, that one ghost is just going to get me.
huh? Well, this is indeed curious. Because... Fuck, he's making me waste matches. Locked too? Shit, so many locked doors. No more locked doors! Say hello to my Aztec warrior. Oh, oh, see, now this door is unlocked. They are fucking with us, man. They are really fucking with us. or two on the way but um oh man now that i've actually got some save points i'm actually loving this a lot more so uh with that being said this is matt for the who goes there podcast uh check us out who goes there podcast.com you can find the show there or on itunes social media is pretty easy to find us everything is at who goes there podcast uh, aside from twitter at who goes there pod like comment subscribe all that fun stuff Tell us if you want to see a specific Let's Play or you want to see us cover anything specific on the show. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot. Bye.